Right, let's take a little ride now along the T towards Brotty Ferry where I live. So this is part of National Cycle Route 1 that runs, I think it runs all the way down to Dover in the south of England. And I suspect it goes all the way north, uh, John O'Groats, but I don't actually know, but it's a, certainly a very, very long um, cycle path. And this would normally be my commute. Indeed, my commute home in this case, going from Dundee behind me. I'm heading east along the south coast of, well, Angus, I guess, Dundee City, uh, towards Botty Ferry, where I live. And it's one of my abiding joys in life is this road. As you can see, it's a segregated path. Oh, it's a mixed use path. So there are pedestrians and dog walkers and uh, little kids on this path as well. So you've got to be a bit careful and respectful of their use of the path as well. But the it's a really lovely place to cycle. And I miss this commute terribly. I mean, this, this would normally be how I'd get to and from work. And now, that, of course, I'm working from home. I don't have that opportunity, which I really miss. I miss the fact that it's exercise without effort, right? So I'm on an e-bike, which some people are quite snobby about. I adore, I adore my e-bike. Let's get past these folks. Thank you. Because it's, it's, a, it's not like a bike. I, I know it sounds really daft and maybe other people who've got e-bikes would disagree with me, but to me, I used to ride a manual bike in London a little bit um, when I lived there and it wasn't a particular pleasure. I'd arrive to the office sweaty, you'd have to showers and changing clothes and it's just too much effort. Which I know sounds a bit lazy, but I'm fine to wear that mantle. I'm okay with being branded lazy, even though I think it's not a particularly a useful adjective in this context. The thing that makes an e-bike different to a bike is that because it's so easy, because it's so low effort, you use it much more. And you use it for, you know, if you've got a bike for exercise, right, to keep you healthy, you will, you know, say, I'm going to go for a bike ride on Sunday and you'll head out and you'll take a ride and you'll go various little routes around where you are. But to me, it doesn't work for me to make to build time into my life for that kind of exercise whereas with the e-bike because it's so easy i don't just use it for my commute on this beautiful route we're on just now but i also use it for you know, running to the shops or taking my daughter to the play park or little errands right little errands i'm about to head and get some lunch just now actually after doing this little test i'm going to head into town and pick up some lunch and because it's so easy for that, because it's such a joy to use, and everybody who steps on the e-bike does the same thing, they could step off the e-bike just grinning with joy, because it's such fun, because it's so easy, you get exercise as a bonus, as a default. Which really works for me, it just means it fits into my life in a useful way. There's a train track running to my left, which is what this bridge is up to the left here, for crossing the train tracks. And you might be able to see in the distance, uh, they're doing some storm prevention works on a little bit of a, the road that runs along the seafront here. It's been going for a few months, but it upgrades the cycle path as well. I'll take you on that for a little bit. This ride is one of my joys. I love seeing the tea change every day. You know, some days it's like this, it's really grey and choppy. Sometimes it's like mill pond reflecting a clear blue sky. Sometimes. So yeah, this, this bit we're on now is the part of the new uh, upgraded cycle path here. Again, segregated, you can see the road to my left. Um, the cycle path completely segregated, which is lovely. 
so yeah sometimes the the the, the, the tea will you'll see the wind running across it or you'll see it was a bit shaky though wasn't it for you little camera it's interesting you don't really notice these things when you're not filming and sometimes the, the water will pick up you know the orange of a sunset or you'll see there's not much shipping traffic on the tea here but you'll see some boats going in and out one of the joys is when you see the big rigs that we uh, you might have seen behind me as we started this chat um, you can see rigs being towed in and out to the North Sea where the oil fields are, the gas fields which is a, a treat ok, I'm going to start here at Brotty Castle so the last time I tried this test I had, uh, I think the input gain too high and I also had it uh, mix so it was coming out of one ear only because of the way this little adapter that I'm using works but it should sound better now let's have a little ride so we're just going to this is about coming out a shorter ride we're going to head into the town centre here in Brotty Ferry in the village that I live in oh lord I've got to tighten you up Come back, there you are. Let's tighten you up on this angle. And here's the high street of the little village that I live in. It's a lovely wee high street actually, because you do have, there's like Nero and Costa, and there's a te wee mini Tesco and Boots and stuff. You've got those, you know, chain shops for. Expectability, right? You expect those things to be there, but there's also really nice little independent stores as well, which makes it a really, uh, a really rewarding place to live. And if you turn left here, we'll go over the train tracks. Why don't I turn you to the side so you can have a look up the railway? Maybe you couldn't see it because of all the shaking. There you go. I'm basically, um, I want to go to a shop on the high street. <laughs> I thought I'd take you on a tour of it. But I am going to then basically double back, circle back onto that high street again. Terrific uh, electric car charging on my left there. She's got solar powers on top to solar panels on top, not to supply all the power, but to you know ameliorate the cost of running it. So these are very forward-looking city when it comes to electric cars, which is nice because when you're in a line of traffic like this and a diesel van in front of you hits the gas when the lights change, you soon know about it. But if you are sitting here and there's a uh, uh, little Nissan Leaf in front of you or something and it just vzzz away from stop then it's pretty nice We're up and over the rail track here over a bridge Tesla in fact and then back down and that, my friends, is pretty much where I'm going to leave you because I'm going to carefully draw into the pavement here and get some lunch and also to review how this sounds. It should sound better. Alright, thank you. <laughs>